the Cersei bigger? Happy May 4th, you guys. May the 4th be with you. As we are at the 190, I call this the Project Farm. It's a new farm that Lee recently acquired this past year. And uh, today we're gonna do some native seeding. I'm pretty excited about our new partnership with uh, Monster Buck. Those guys have done a really good job with us so far this year. And um, it's the first year of partnership. They shipped us over some seed. We're working with Cave and Rock and RC Big Rock today and we're just gonna drill this in uh, with this new Great Plains drill. I wanted to catch you guys up on what we're doing. This is a big project of mine I've been working on uh, for the past six months. We started with TSI on this farm and we took out the less desirable trees. So ash trees, a few black oaks, bitternut hickory, locusts, stuff like that. And by laying those other trees down, we're, we're allowing for this sunlight to reach the forest floor and we'll get a regeneration of different trees, shrubs, um, just woody browse, stuff that deer eat on all day in the midday hours. And another step to this was making sure we had big ag on here. So we do have two plots already established. I planted a 16 acre corn plot on the north end of this farm. The reason we wanted so much corn over there is to hopefully recruit new deer, that way we can have more deer living on this property year round. So in addition to that 16 acre corn plot, we put about a four acre bean plot down on the bottom over here. We're gonna start today anyways, uh, with the native seeding. We've got this sprayed yesterday. I can drill right afterwards. So we've got a big rain coming here tomorrow and it's gonna be a lot of rain next week as well. So probably gonna go through the night. Hopefully I can get this done before morning, um, before it starts raining. This is gonna be a really fun farm to hunt. There's one deer in particular that we believe will probably core up in this area. He has been on the other farm, but he showed up. We ran cuttybacks here in the fall and he showed up here first in the fall. We believe he lives to the south and that's the G3 buck. He is a tank of a deer. Last year he was five, the year prior he was four. We had pictures of him both years. He looks like a deer that could really blow up into something special this coming year. So got about 60 acres to drill tonight really hilly ground it's cattle pasture so hopefully there's not too many holes out here all right getting back to the shop it's a little after nine ended up getting half of this seating done but looked at my phone of course the weather forecast changed I was gonna go all night just because we had rain the next five days well now there's no rain the next five days so it's kind of funny how the weatherman's always wrong so anyways next week I'm gonna be going to back home and I'm gonna look at some of my permission properties get some more cameras out I like getting cameras out this time of year and there's uh, some attractants that I use um, in front of these cameras that isn't corn, isn't mineral, um, it's more natural, that really helps me to just get buck pictures, a few does, but not as many doe pictures as I do bucks. So I'll dive into that next week, but until then, I hope you guys are staying safe turkey hunting, mushroom hunting, whatever you guys are doing, fishing, and I'll see you back next week. Thanks for watching, guys.